Okay, this is the second document sent at about midnight by my prosecutors. I have a court date today. It's I got 3.04 a.m. I did a chat GPT summary of, of this response. I'll read that chat GPT summary and then just scan through the, the response that I typed out and then also the PDF document. The Commonwealth of Kentucky responds to the defendant's motion to strike surplusage, arguing against it for three main reasons. Firstly, they assert the defendant asserts that the complaint meets legal standards by clearly stating the offense and supporting facts. Okay, the, the uh, prosecutor asserts that the complaint meets legal standards by clearly stating the offense and supporting a facts. Secondly, the prosecutor claims that the uniform citation is hearsay and inadmissible as its use would infringe upon the defendant's right to confront witnesses. Lastly, the, the prosecutor argues against striking statements from the citation stating that they are relevant and not unduly prejudicial. Ultimately, the Commonwealth requests the court to deny the defendant's motion. I just got to say, that's kind of, it's kind of a weird argument to make. They're, they're calling, they're calling the police report just hearsay. And that hearsay would uh, infringe upon my right to confront witnesses. Um, I'm, uh... That's prosecutor arguments tend to be crazy. That just seems crazy. All right, and then this is what they wrote. I typed this out for so I could put in chat GPT. And it's less than the first document, okay. Then I'll go to the, the actual document. All right. <clears throat> yeah, it's just, I found the, their arguments to be confusing on their on this document straight from their 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 own words and then the summary is is just as nonsensical as as the argument maybe i could use chat gpt to try to explain what the prosecutor's trying to say better it's kind of nonsensical okay with craig newburn